are still standing up. I'm Craig Shoemaker. That's Rick Thorne, our special guest. Can't wait to dive into this, and you should stay with us. Right. We are rolling now. Okay. A lot of false starts. Yep. I've been doing that since I was a teenager. Are we playing football? Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> We've been penalized a lot. Rick, thanks for being here. I want to tell you first of all why you're why I wanted you here. I invited you. I thought about this this morning. It wasn't about the credits. It wasn't about all the things that you've done, which we all have done a lot of things, right? Right. It's your energy, bro. Thanks, dude. I'm an energy guy. I pick awesome. up people's energy, and I met you at Adam Carolla's podcast. I go, this is my kind of guy, so that's why I wanted you here. Dude, I'm stoked to be here. Then I'm I glad ch- I met you, then I, then I check all the other stuff out. Say, does he got a blue check? Was he done with <laughs> I didn't even look at the blue check. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a, it's very impressive, I guess. Nice. I, it took me years to get the blue check, by the way. I don't know me about too. you. Yeah. Yeah. How I did you to- get it? Do you know I, how you got it? I applied. No, no, no. I, but it's before you could pay. I like because you could apply. You can't pay. Not Instagram. No, pe- people people. Twitter, pay. you can pay. Uh, okay, Instagram people pay for their checks too. They do. Yeah. So for me, I I um, since we're talking about this, I just applied, and, and I got denied, and I applied again, and then just randomly said you're approved. I was like, oh, cool. Wow. What else I got to do? Cut myself? Yeah. I, I was I was like trying to tell them look at my credits and stuff like that, and then I'm trying to get on Raya. Do you know what Raya is? I don't. What is that? It's a dating app. I can't okay. get on there. And meanwhile, people are like extras on shows that I'm on. They're on the damn thing. How do you so get on that one? I now I can't get on. That's you mean my point. They pick who they want. To be they on pick there? who they want. And I I told them I gave. I th- I said this is age discrimination. I said we would never do that. Oh yes, you would because you're not telling me the reason. There's 80 old ladies that need dudes too. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that, is that what it's down to? <laughs> Listen, my dating choices are, are very limited these days. Man, I'm just playing around. So thanks for limiting it even more. Man, I need but, to get uh, on that. I've, what, been, what, I've been single for 12 years. Let's go to this app. Let's go. When people fix me up, I don't, well, you're not at the age yet, where they go, they, it starts off with either my aunt or my mother. That's how they say it. That's, that's what it all starts with. They're like, I got a hot chick for you. So my aunt and my mother who can't find anyone, and you're all that's left, I Craig. I got this grandma for you, bro. <laughs> I don't think we... I don't think women who would be attracted to you would be attracted to me. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know, man. Well, you're you're, you're definitely I'm, like a type, and and I'm yeah. like I'm a I'm, I'm a non-practicing white male. That's all I am. Yeah, because <laughs> the girls that are attracted to me are usually like like they're homeless or they're on speed <laughs> or they're strippers. Oh no, you I, know, got that the, stuff. I got the homeless yeah, yeah, yeah. down. So maybe it is the same type of person. I don't know. I mean, if I pop out my teeth, bro, I don't tell them what I can come up with. I have four in a row, right? Four in a row that had to blow into a breathalyzer tube. And I'm not kidding when I tell you, to start their car, right? One was fresh out of You rehab. did. No, I didn't have to blow. Well, I had to blow four of them. You dated four <laughs> girls in a row that were like that. Four in a row. Oh, Listen man. to this. And then one gets in my car, last minute concert. I asked her to go to this concert. And she goes, well, you might find this funny. Me too. So five in a row. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so what am I drawing here? I don't know. What are you, what are you putting out there? I've been single for 12 years. I've been, I, I got divorced for the third time. And then I told myself, dude, I need to change. Yeah. Like, wh- how, why am I attracting this? Right. And uh, I could take this really deep right now if you no, want. No, way deep. I love to go way okay, deep. Okay. Okay. So check it out. Let's so, do that. Okay. So we're going to jump on into multiple this. divorces as well. This show is about the turnaround. How many? Of, how many? This is about the turnaround of life. How many? Divorces? Well, uh, two and a maybe an annulment. <laughs> three I strikes. I don't like to do the three because it doesn't. Uh, three strikes know. and you're out, bro. I don't count the first one. It was just like a it was like a little yeah. pickup. But well, it, it, it's you know it's like having a permit. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. So listen, that's what this show is. It's called the turnaround. It's all about what do you, what'd you turn around in your life. Well, Here's something that we can both speak to. Your energy is what it is. The reason why, and I, I think from my experience, is that you'll attract the same type of girl because it's yeah. something that you think you need and that what you need you identify with, you pick mm-hmm. up with. Mm-hmm. So th- whatever there is in your life, this is what I learned for me, whatever there was in my life that I felt like I needed to improve on that I hadn't worked on and didn't know how to work on, that's why I kept looking at those same girls. So for me, it was abandonment issues, people pleasing, you know, fear of being alone, <laughs> these things, right? And so what happened was is uh, uh, I, I got divorced for the third time. Oh, hold on one second. Yeah. Your abandonment issues. Yeah. Not there. No, no. You drew in people with abandonment issues Yeah, because issues then you become... You, they you, reflect you. Yeah, you don't want to be alone, for right. me at least. I yeah. didn't want to be alone, and then I want to people please and do all these things for you. And then I learned right. when you people please people, they tend to walk on you because that's kind of how it is. You, 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 I'm not put on this earth to people please anybody but myself first. Yeah, you, it's, and it, I wasn't it's a doing setup. that. It's a setup. I it call is. it rescuing. 
Yeah, save a hoe. Big rescue. Captain yeah, Captain Save a hoe. Big giant. I've been doing that a long, long time. Dude, don't do it no more. And, and I, I'm trying, You're end bro. End up in the same spot. You know what happens is it's it's like some of them. It's so obvious too. It's like you remember Les Miserables. You ever see they have a big red flag? Yeah. That's mine. That flag is that big. <laughs> do you hear? You're swiping wrong. I mean, it's just, <laughs> she's practically homeless. Yeah. I mean, it is unbelievable what I draw in, and and I'm. Really, really, and this is a lesson for everyone. Yeah, really trying to work on myself that I don't draw that in. I was the same. I was in the same place, bro. And what I did is, is I found this guy. Uh, I looked for literature because I don't. I don't like to read too much, but I like to listen to audiobooks and stuff. Yeah. And I found this guy named Napoleon Hill. He wrote oh, the book Think and Grow Rich. Yeah. He's the inventor of PMA. Now, in the punk rock world, PMA was bad brains, positive mental attitude. Have that attitude. It's positive mental attitude. Yeah. And it's about. Your subconscious mind never goes to sleep, and it only reacts on what you think and say. You don't even have to say it if you think it. And so your subconscious mind is tricky because it'll steer you. You ever meet someone and they're like, oh, what's up, dude? How you doing? Oh, I'm broke. And they stay broke. Sure. Or oh, I'm tired. You're always going to be tired because you're saying that. So I was like, whoa, this is a trip. And then I thought, wait, if my subconscious mind never goes to sleep, that's why they said don't fall asleep watching TV because then you're just you're just listening to all that shit. Then I thought, wait. Yeah. I'm going to get audiobooks that help me with the things that I need to improve on. And I found certain books and I listened to his lectures. Check it out why I slept. So I went to bed with my phone with it playing. I'd wake up and still be playing. And I started to register these this literature and these like these seminars and stuff. And it's good literature. It's yeah, stuff that's yeah. positive and it's affirmative and things like that. Yeah, well, it's, it's 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 things that maybe issues that maybe you may say you have. And you're like, I want to change this in the way that I thought, okay, I'm going to really try to change this. Yeah. And it didn't happen overnight. It, no. took, it took years. But it worked, man, because now I see red flags and I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm good. I used to paint them green. Yeah, yeah paint them green. Yeah. No, 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 no. I can't be that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to watch what I listen to. I've been listening to John Stamos's book. So now now I understand subconsciously yeah. I'm going to be after it's, Re- Rebecca Romaine or whatever. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> it's well, no, it's, it's going about, after supermodels. Exactly. It's about it's about talking to your subconscious mind. And when Napoleon Hill said, I'm thinking about this this book, Think and Grow Rich. And before that, I didn't know what the, the title was. And I'm like, come on, subconscious, tell me what this book title yeah. is. And this is his. You can get for two ninety five. You can get ten hours of his lectures, and they're amazing because it, it, he he comes off in a per business perspective. Napoleon Hill was that way, but but he you learn a lot about the subconscious mind. Uh, the subconscious. It, it, remember what I told you the very first I mean, thing I told you when you walked in here is you're here because of your energy. Yeah, I picked up on that energy, and that's what I want to surround myself with. That's yeah. why I want his guests, not only guests, hanging out. Yeah, I want life. to be around people. You can feel the energy. I can feel that you did something where you had a transformation, a positive transformation yeah. in your life, and that's Absolutely. why you're here. Of course, you're here also because you know you're an actor all that and stuff. a singer yeah, yeah. and all that stuff, an amazing BMX rider and all that, right? Yeah, that's all the resume stuff. Right. That's all stuff about image and what it looks like. The person you become, though, had to go through these difficulties. Yeah. And including exes. And, yeah. And I got them, too. All my shows this year, benefit shows, and all proceeds go to my ex-wife. All my comedy shows. <laughs> <laughs> my lawyer stinks. All, he got, all I'm left is, is the setups on my jokes. <laughs> so, so a priest and a rabbi walk into a bar, and then she got the rest. You know? Oh, jeez. <laughs> the rest of the punchline. How many, but, more, how many more years you got? Of, of paying money? Yeah. Oh, it's just you it's know, new till death do you part. <laughs> I I think were you married the... over ten years? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you had Seven, to pay... seventeen. We were together. Alimony 17. for life? Yeah, probably. It, what do you? you how do you, what, how do you feel about those laws, though? I'm being real. Like, yeah, yeah. Like it's... those laws were made at a time, and I, I just feel like those laws were made at a time where things were a lot different for women That's exactly in right. the United States, yeah. and 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 opportunities weren't as open as it is today as it is now. And I just feel like some of those laws, like it's just hard for Need me. Need to adjust. It, yeah, it's hard for me to understand that. Yeah. Why would I have to pay somebody yeah. for life, money for life, that you're incapable to get a job and work? It doesn't make any sense. It's it's really. You know what I mean? But those, I do know what you mean. Those, I know those you, laws were made like so, 1900 or some shit. They so need we, to update it. You well, know? even in the 50s, of course. And and I was always a feminist. I was always, you know, my mom was a single mom. My mom was a person who needed that law and me did too. not have that law. Me too. And we were poor because of it. Yep. I, I thought the word evict meant move. I thought it was the same word. Here's the eviction truck, mommy. We used to have lima beans out of a can. Yep. This is how we lived our lives. Yep. 
but it's not that way anymore, no. and it's not fair, so no. there needs to be an adjustment. And e- even us saying it, we're considered sexist or misogynist. No, I and mean, I'm, I'm from a single family, too. My mom raised us in the 70s, and it was hard, and things were a lot different. Yeah. And my mom said, I'm going to go get a job in a factory, and my mom did that. Right. And she raised us, and she she's hardcore. Yeah. Uh, but I think that, like, nowadays, you know, obviously things have changed quite a bit to where it's just hard for me to fathom that, like, you would have to just still take care of someone as if they're like a child their whole life that they're incapable and, and, and to work. Yeah. That's just weird to me with all the opportunities that are there. In my case, uh, you know, I if you want them, you can get it nowadays. I, I, I was just, I was absolutely madly in love and thought we had a good relationship. And she went and got, you know, led by someone to say, get your sovereign freedom and get out of your golden cage. But here's the thing is, OK, you're out now. Well, then earn your own living. Yeah. So it's like it, they want the best of both worlds. And that's what's going on. And the laws are there to protect. And it's, so if you make more money, it makes no sense. If you make more money, like if she made more money, I would love that. I'd love to be in, I'd love to be in a golden cage. Have you ever been taken care of in your life? I can't even imagine having it happen. No. And I, I mean, and, and, and I'm going to back up for a second, too, because you said, like, even I was talking about this. Weird, I'm from experience. Like, dude, we were like we we didn't have we were collecting cans and we were yeah. getting in the trash, having garage sales. Yeah. All of it, man. So I get it. But I'm just yeah. saying and I have a daughter and I tell my daughter. Hey, don't rely on anyone in this world. There's opportunities for you there if you if you right. want to take them. Right. And that's the question: Do you want to take them, and and take care of yourself? And uh, but yeah, man, it was like it's like uh, it's just it's just a weird thing to me, you know. And so anyhow. a lot of laws happened because they needed to. Yeah. But then what happens is people take advantage of it. Yeah. And there, so there needs to be some sort of adjustment. Everything always needs adjustment. When, for, when any cause first comes out, it's like, yeah, 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 you're behind the cause. And see, oh, there's some shenanigans going on or whatever it is. You have to make an adjustment because yeah. there's always people that bastardize it and take advantage of it. Yeah. And that's what's happening right now. Well, and the lawyers rely on it. I cannot believe the amount of money I have to pay a lawyer to speak you know, some some language. And then, then, then the lawyers are fighting. You're paying for both of them. It's crazy. And it makes no sense. And just so I'm out where there's no one you're here also because you work your ass off like I do and are diverse. Yeah. There's nothing that stops us because we came from that lack and limitation and poverty and things like that. So it kind of motivates. It can go either way. You can either be really lazy and using people or you can go grab the bull by the horn. Absolutely. Rick Thorne, how fast did that go? Huh? (laughs) (laughs) Trust me, folks. He's a lot more compelling. What? What? Huh? Where am I? Where am I? It went. Yeah. No, that was fast. That went fast, and it, hopefully, uh, you're all going to get something out of it. What a conversation that was. Stay it's rad. Still, it's still standing. That's right. You're saying you didn't say that the entire time. I stay just did. rad. Yeah. Okay? Stay rad. Yeah. All right. Mine's uh, stay bad. No, yours is still standing, and mine is stay <laughs> rad. So put them together. Still standing rad. No, I'm still standing and staying rad. And we're staying rad. All right.